2020 riots versus the, 20, the, the January 6th attack. The riots in front of the White House were famously St. John's Church was set on fire. Oh, White House, across the country. You know, I talk about the White House um, and I talk about an agency that was formed by Congress specifically for the protection of the United States president, um, the Washington, D.C. Police Department. The White House is under attack and they are prevented. They are prevented. I know it's not from Chief Newsham. It's from his, you know, he was the chief at the time. Uh, it would have been from uh, above him. They're from prevented from going on, cap on White House grounds and helping the United States Secret Service and defending the, the White House. So think about that. You know, who made that decision? I, I, again, all I know is, you know, Newsham's hands were tied. So Mayor Bowser? Higher? I don't know. But, but think about but that. But somebody told when there, and there was real rioting. In fact, I, oh. I think well, that more officers were injured at that riot than were injured on January 6th, I think. Yep. Yep. Again. Uh, don't take my word, GAO report. More officers injured at the uh, protests up by the White House than on January 6th. And I'm told by Park Police, all charges were dropped, according to the, uh, the uh, fighting at Lafayette Park and at the, uh, at the White House. There were Secret Service agents bloodied and battered over there. There was a number of federal agencies that were hurt. Structures set on fire. They tried to light the Hay Adams Hotel on fire. That was occupied. Think about that. Charges dropped. No, no such situation.